guys, welcome back to another episode of Maiden Madness. In today's episode, we will be talking about the next modification that we are putting on the Yamaha MT-07. Now in this special box here, there's a part all the way from Spain. Now I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Pudge, or if, if you were a typical Brit, then maybe Puig, <laughs> whatever the case. This is what I've gone for. It's a, it's a good brand, it's a good touring screen, and it's something that we uh, definitely need for the bike, but also to make it look just that bit more special. Boom. So this is what we've gone for. Um, a few options for the touring screen in terms of the, the color. I've gone for the, the darkest tint possible, um, purely because I think it, it makes sense. It also gives you that bit of a security from the front. Um, also, it's it's going to make the bike a lot more aggressive looking. And other options I think you can opt for are the the lighter smoke effect or completely clear. Depends on on what you fancy. But um, as you can see, you've got four bolts there, and that's exactly what's on the bike at the moment. So we're going to whip the old one off. And then put this beautiful piece of cra craftsmanship onto the MT-07. Just uh, FYI, in the box, yeah, you get your fixings. Set of instructions, which we'll probably not stick to, but that's how we do it. And then some word of warning, yeah, whatever the case. So let's, let's go and fit this baby. Okay, so let's crack on with the installation. You've got the touring screen here, and all you need are two Allen keys. So this is number five and three from the Oxford toolkit. Now, this will replace what's on there at the moment, of course. Um, initial inspection, I thought I had to remove um, these two uh, screws here, which don't look like a standard Phillips, but we don't need to in the end. So we've got one bolt here to remove that side, and then the same on the other side here. So. We'll whack these two bolts off and that should expose uh, the four bolts underneath for us to, to install the new touring screen. Okay, so now you can see the, the four bolts are exposed for where the new touring screen uh, will be bolting onto. Now, do not lose these. These came off um, when I took off the, the main bolts on either side just there. Um, because we don't need need to play around with that anymore. I'm just going to screw these um, back in and we can focus on, on the four bolts now. Okay, so now both uh, bolts are in. Now every opportunity uh, you have when you're removing fairings, always give it a clean. So I just use this muck off um, back from the days of mountain biking. It does the job. So I'm just gonna quickly spray over that and just quickly clean it before we get stuck on with the uh, installation. Do what you can, just get most of the dirt off. It's just peace of mind. I don't know, maybe it's the OCD just kicking in, but always helps, doesn't harm. Give it a clean. That's it, ready? Quick spray, tidy up. Job done. Okay, so let's get these four bolts off and get to work. So looking at the uh, actual touring screen itself, you've got these caps and underneath the caps you've got a smaller Allen key, which is the number three that I showed at the start. Now you've got these four fixings here. What I actually need to do is take them off the touring screen first, attach them to the sockets here, bolt them on, and then lastly, put the screen back on and then screw it in. So let's get to it. Okay, so now we've got the fixings off the touring screen, which are uh, these two, your left and right. You just need to, to bolt them on here. Yeah. We'll then attach the touring screen back on and then put the caps back on to finish off and should be done. Nice and simple. Let's get to it. Right, 
Now that's done, there was a slight complication. So these rubber rubber grommets actually sit within the within this um, space here, but you need to take them out before you can actually bolt bolt it in. Otherwise, there's just no way you can you can bend it, and you don't want to break any plastics or ruin what you've just bought. So, yeah, I'm gonna have fun now putting this back in after. But just a word of warning. Let's go. Okay, all we need to do now, guys, is just put the screen back on, bolt them in, put the caps on, and installation is complete. Let's get to it. Here we go then. So, installation complete. Honest opinion, what do you think? I think it looks much better. I love this, this really dark smoke effect um, for this sort of this screen I mean installation very straightforward and it's minimalistic such a simple mod really does transform the bike and it's going to protect uh, me more actually when I ride um, just because the winds gonna go more over my head instead of into my chest which isn't fun if you're blasting it down on the motorway there you go then guys, installation complete. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you enjoy the content, just share some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking about the channel, if you like the modifications that we're doing, and yeah, let me know your views. Also, all the links to the, uh, the, the, link to the screen is in the description as always, and yeah, have a great day, or evening, wherever you are. Peace!